brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to Rise Above with Tammy Lynn. I am super honored that you are joining me and honored that I have the opportunity to speak into your life through the power of the Holy Spirit operating through me. This message is for those of you who you are struggling to hold on to faith, that you are just become weary and you don't even know what to pray. You are struggling to have the strength to even say another prayer. The Lord wants you to know, to hold on, to keep praying, to stay persistent, to keep knocking. He sees you. He has not forgotten you and he is going to come through for you. The breaker is going to break through for you. The promise keeper is going to deliver on his promise, people of God. We are going to look at um, a few different passages to help just give you a fresh foundation and to encourage and awaken your faith so you can just rise up and continue to run um, this race, fight the good fight of faith and obtain that which the Lord has for you because that which he has for you is for you. It is yours. You will get it in Jesus name. Amen. The first thing we're going to look at is a persistent widow woman out of Luke 18. This is going to be read out of the Passion Translation. Um, beginning in verse one, it says, one day Jesus taught the apostles to keep praying and never stop or lose hope. He shared with them this illustration. In a certain town, there was a judge, a thick skinned and godless man who had no fear of others opinions. And in the same town, there was a poor widow who kept pleading with the judge, grant me justice and protect me from my oppressor. He ignored her pleas for quite some time, but she kept asking, Eventually, he said to himself, this widow keeps annoying me, demanding her rights, and I'm tired of listening to her. Even though I'm not a religious man and I don't care about the opinions of others, I'll get her off my back by answering her claims for justice, and I'll rule in her favor. Then she'll leave me alone. Jesus continued, did you hear what the godless judge said, that he would answer her persistent request? Don't you know that God, the true judge, will grant justice to all his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? He will pour out his spirit upon them. He will not delay to answer you and give you what you ask for. God will give swift justice to those who don't give up. So be ever praying, ever expecting in the same way as the widow. Even so, when the son of man comes back, will he find this kind of undying faith on earth? The Lord wants you to know, have undying faith, have a tenacious faith, be ferocious, don't give up, keep praying, keep knocking, remain persistent. And you may even ask, well, why do I have to remain pers persistent? Why do I have to keep praying the same thing over and over again? He's the God of all possibilities. He makes everything beautiful in its time. That is a good question. Ephesians 6.10 says, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but with principalities. We are going to take a look at Daniel 10 because through Daniel, as he was like praying for God's people, he experienced and endured some things that just like you, you know, he, he grew weary, you know, the Lord sent him encouragement and the Lord also gave a deep revelation that I believe is a revelation that the Lord wants you to have um, in this moment where you're at to keep you going, to keep you seeking, to keep you in a stance of expectancy, um, a ferocious faith and a dying faith, because again, the promise keeper is going to deliver on his promise. Amen. So in Daniel 10, actually, we're going to start in chapter nine and um, nine verses 20. And I'm going to read 20 through 20, 23. And this is where Daniel's been just like praying for, for God's people and crying out to God. Um, and verse 20 says, Now while I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel and presenting my supplication before the Lord my God in behalf of the holy mountain of my God, while I was still speaking in prayer, then the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in a vision previously, came to me in my extreme weariness, the time of the evening offering. See, Daniel was weary. People of God, it is okay. The Lord understands um, you're human. We're human. We, we can become weary. But in the midst of our weariness, we see God's faithfulness. 
He refuses to let you give up because he is not a man that shall lie. He is not a man that shall change his mind. He's not going to change his mind just because you give up. No, like he, he is, per, he is persistent and um, he is tenacious. He is ferocious. Um, and when he said that, um, that which, uh, he told you that, that promise, that promise of healing, that promise of a uh, deliverance, that promise of reconciliation, that promise of restoration, that promise of, you know, the prodigal coming home. When he said that, he meant that. So he refuses to let you to give up. The enemy wants you to give up, but God loves you so much. And again, he is a man that is not going to change his mind. And once he decrees a word, then he also has to perform the word for his namesake. And it says that out of Isaiah. So even Daniel, you know, became weary. Um, and it goes on to say, he gave me instructions and talked with me and said, oh, Daniel, I have now come forth to give you insight with understanding. See, this is your insight and understanding. Isn't God good? In the beginning of your, at the beginning of your supplications, the command was issued. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord wants you to know at the very beginning of your prayer, um, the, uh, it, the command was already issued. Isaiah 65, 24 even says, you know, before we even uh, call, before we even speak, you know, he answers. And it goes on to say, and I have come to tell you, for you are highly esteemed. So give heed to the message and gain understanding of the vision. Amen. Now we're going to skip over to Daniel 10 um, and we're going to start in verse 10 where it says, then behold, a hand touched me and set me trembling on my hands and knees. And he said to me, O oh, Daniel, man of high esteem, understand the words that I'm about to tell you and stand up right. It is just time to stand up right, people of God. It is time to get back into your position of faith, your position of expectancy, because he is a good, good God. He is a faithful God, and he is going to come through for you. Amen. And then it goes on to say, um, Oh, where was that? Start over in verse 10. Then behold, a hand touched me and set me trembling on my hands and knees. And he said to me, O oh, Daniel, man of high esteem, understand the words I'm about to tell you and stand upright. For I have now been sent to you. And when he had spoken this word to me, I stood up trembling. Then he said to me, do not be afraid, Daniel. For from the first day that you set your heart on understanding this and on humbling yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come in response to your words. Verse 13, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia was withstanding me for 21 days. Then behold, Michael, one of the chief princesses, came to help me, for I had been left there with the kings of Persia. What is the Lord wanting you to understand right now? When we look back at the persistent widow woman, you know, we can easily get into this position of questioning, like, oh, why do I have to keep asking? Why do I keep have to keep asking? You know, scripture says that, you know, before before I even called, he answered, you know, that um, he'd already prepared the answer bef when I first even prayed, you know, and asked him. Um, the Lord wants you to understand that, yes, he is all powerful and he is all knowing and no demon in hell can stop the plans and the purposes of God. But at the same time, he's wanting you to understand Ephesians 6, 12, that we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but with principalities. Satan doesn't want you to have the promise. Satan doesn't want you to get the deliverance. Satan doesn't want you to get the healing. Satan doesn't want you to have the reconciliation. He doesn't want you to have the restoration. He doesn't want the prodigal coming home. Satan doesn't want you testifying of the faithfulness of God. Okay, and so you have got to do your part and you have got to keep going to the throne of God, not the phone. Okay, you go to the phone whenever you're weary and you're ready to give up. But those of you who place your hope in the Lord, you continue to go to the throne of God because this is pleasing to God. It is moving heaven. Whenever you keep going to the throne, God is pleased. Heaven is moved by it because he can see that, you know what, that one that child, they believe in me. They refuse to give up. And it, heaven keeps working. See, heaven's headquarters ne never shuts down, okay? So no matter how tired, how weary you may become, you know, heaven's headquarters just will not shut down. And so um, the Lord is saying, keep praying. Keep knocking. Keep crying out. Yes, keep crying out. 
night and day, night and day, night and day, night and day. Your cry out, your prayers of faith, it is breaking through the bar barriers. It is breaking through the principalities. It is eliminating every principality that is blocking your blessings. Amen. So people of God, for those of you who are weary, those of you who are struggling to hold on to faith, I encourage you to let your faith arise, to rise up this moment, and to fight the good fight of faith, to continue to declare that which the Lord has declared over you, to continue to see what it is that God has for you. And God has Jeremiah 29, 11 things for you. He has good things for you. It's, it's things to prosper you and not to harm you. And again, those who place their hope in the Lord, they will not be disappointed. And God is not going to fail you. He says he is not going Going to disappoint you. So hold on. Have the faith of this persistent widow woman, an undying faith, a tenacious faith, a ferocious faith. Understand that just like Daniel, even though he became weary, he didn't fully give up. He didn't stop praying. He kept persevering. And then understand that, you know, there's principalities that simply do not want you to have the answer but that answer that does belong to you so the end of Luke 18 says but when the son of man comes will he find an undying faith see scripture says in Matthew 9 29 according to your faith it shall be done you have to have faith even if it's faith the size of a mustard seed okay you have to have that amen so brothers and sisters of Christ I am praying for you I am praying that your faith fail you not. I am praying that um, you will just be strengthened in this moment, that you will just give up, get up. You will be filled and fueled and continue to run your race because the promise is right around the corner. The breakthrough is right around the corner. Brothers and sisters of Christ, continue to rise above the lies of the devil. Continue to rise above with Christ. You are a hair of the Most High God, and nothing is too difficult for Him. Amen. Until next time, Shalom.